sit down. Well, that was a fucking mess now, wasn't it? Two very different teams played against Seattle yesterday, gentlemen. One team called the defense seemed to be on the field all damn game, fighting hard and trying to give us a chance to win. The other team called the offense. You looked like a bunch of fucking sacks of shit with legs. Holy fucking shit. How many yards did we gain on offense? And don't give me that fucking garbage time bullshit where you rack up meaningless yards against a prevent defense when the game isn't on the line. We had what? 45 yards the first half? My dick can gain 45 total yards with or without my fucking balls. We had what? 75 total yards in the fourth quarter when the game was pretty much over? If the Giants' offense was the Yankees, they wouldn't have been shut out. They would have been so bad, they would have scored negative fucking runs. The game is only 60 minutes and Seattle had the ball for like 80 minutes. How the fuck is that possible? You want the good news, guys? Okay, here's the good news. The good news is my mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag, typed in the promo code, capital V-I-C, bet the under 41 and won. Again. She and my wife are now a combined 17 and 4. Let that sink in for a minute, you fucking chowder heads. <laughs> So now what do we do, gentlemen? What do we do? Clearly, the nitwit calling plays isn't working out. So what now? Why don't we have the fans texting plays during the game? How's that? We are obviously incapable of doing our jobs as coaches. We are one and fucking six. Good coaches aren't one and fucking six. Good coaches don't call offensive plays and gain 45 yards in a half. Vince Lombardi just shit out of his eye sockets in his grave watching this fucking game. Macadoodle do. What's the fucking deal with your hair? Seriously, dude. You look like Mo from the Three Stooges had a kid with alfalfa from the Little Rascals and then made him into a little Dusi Bots. Maybe this is, a, I don't know, maybe it's a Hercules thing. Or who, who's the guy, the guy who, who needed his hair? Samson. Sam maybe the more ridiculous your hair looks, the more ridiculous we play. I'm a man and my position cannot afford to look ridiculous. So we lose with Odell, we lose without Odell, we lose when the D plays, plays good, we lose when Eli has good games and bad games, we lose at full strength. What now, gentlemen? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I'm not that clever. You got me all wrong, guys. I'm the hunted one. I don't know. I don't know. I... At one point, I, I thought I knew, but I don't know. Maybe we go back to the animal thing we did against Denver. It seemed to work. Shit in your socks and then wear them. No showers or water unless you win. That seemed to work pretty good, you fucking stupid smelly jerk-offs. Guys, seriously, you know... At this point now, it, it's about pride. Plan for pride. And oh yeah, play for your jobs, okay? Coaches are coaching for their jobs now. You go 1-15 or 2-14, you're dead to me. 
you're dead to me. Bye week next Sunday. Ten more games to play, guys. Let's see what you're made of. I got nothing more to say. I need the off week to recharge. Expect changes. A lot of changes. You, got, you guys simply look like shit on offense, and you made a good defense have to work too hard. Go eat fatties. Go get something to eat fatties. Go, go, go get your, your fucking medical needs taken care of, you fucking pussies. Go do whatever you need to do, okay? I'm going to go throw up now. One in six, Jesus fucking Christ. Are we really not better than that? You got ten games left to prove it.